What's going on guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Apple Pencil um, This is approximately almost, it's almost been a year, um, a bit less because it's not been out for a year But this is my, I'd say my little review, so let's get right into it Alright, so first of all we're going to be talking about the Apple Pencil and the apps So. Um, I'm currently running the iOS 13 beta 4, well I, iPad OS, um, what it's called, and one of the main features of that is the Apple Pencil with a lower latency. So if you've not used the Apple Pencil before the, the update, um, you won't really be able to tell, but because I got it on or oh, near release date, it wasn't this smooth. So as you can see on screen, it's it's just writing, it's like, it's like, it's like a hot knife on butter, so it's just it's really perfect it feels like it actually motivates you to carry on writing as you can see here um on screen where i'm just writing and it just looks really smooth clean crisp and um, it's very accurate nine out of ten times it works probably nine and a half sometimes it does get a bit laggy sometimes it does not work as great but if you just um want to carry on writing with it it goes fine Um, right now i'm currently using an app called notability um i just downloaded this from the app store it is a paid app i think it's 10 pounds or something like that and I use this for my college notes, and it's amazing. It's it's perfect. It's got a lot of templates for different um types of pages. You want A four, A three. You can import pictures. Um, you can. It's just very, very, very nice the way it's made and everything. You can open lots of different tabs. You have um. You can adjust the the picture to how you want it to be. You can make shapes um that auto automatically lock in. You can write text. And it's really, really nice for, especially for highlighting stuff, um, or just making notes in general on any, on anything. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just highlighting some topics right now, and it, it, it just works really nice, because it just, it, it's not too much, and it's not too less. So here are the main two apps that I use, it's, like again I said, it's mainly Notability and um, GoodNotes. So the, this one right now is good notes and this one is notability. Um, now they are both very good. I will be doing a separate review on comparing the both because they are both paid apps, um, and you can't. There's no like free trial that you can do. Um, personally, I prefer good notes. I just feel like it's more professional. It just seems nicer because you have a, a a wider variety of templates, and you have more options to choose from it's just more customizable to you you have different types of paper it's just it's just much nicer plus i feel like the pen just writes better on there it just it's just more smooth and it's just the it's like a like an old pen like so if you press harder it will be thicker and that it does do that on notability too but on good notes it just does it um a tiny bit better so that's why i do prefer that one because it's just it just is nicer um for writing now, like I said, the Apple Pencil does have a lower latency. Um, it is quite heavy. It's not too heavy compared to a normal pencil, but it just it does feel nice. It's got a nice nice weight to it. It's not too light, not too heavy. Um, it's got a very very long battery life. I think I've only been able to kill kill the battery like three times since I've got the iPad, and that's like I was trying to kill the battery. So every day I wouldn't charge it. I just wanted to see how long it would last, and it lasted a very very long time. I think it was about three to four days of full use. Um, so that is very good and obviously to charge it you just clip it back on and it just works perfectly now um, the one of the main things again in iPad OS is the desktop browser on Safari so as you can see it I'm on YouTube right now like it just looks like a desktop browser it looks very nice and um, you can download stuff obviously you can't um, download YouTube videos directly from YouTube but other types of files or documents and whatnot you can just download them straight it's just like a, a macbook if you have one of them it'll just download them. so one of the one of my main concerns with the ipad um is that it does bend because i do have the the bigger version so i have the 12.9 inch and every time i do take it out to like college or the library or whatever or even when i'm just downstairs at home i am always scared that I put one wrong move onto it, or right, someone accidentally sits on it, or I'm ax it, or if it's in my bag and I'm leaning on something, I'm scared that it will bend. So, you do need to keep that in mind. I do have a case, but it's not. It's just made of plastic and fabric, so it's not the best. But 
um that's one of the very downsides of this thankfully enough mine has not bent yet but let's hope it stays like that the ipad um the ipad has um very good wi-fi um obviously that's very important the end i have noticed that the antenna for the wi-fi is very strong um, I'm quite far away from my router right now, like very, very far away, and I'm still being able to pull a hundred meg, um, which is pretty impressive with the iPad. It seems though it is a pro device, so that's what I do like about it. It does have very good Wi-Fi. It also has very good speakers as well, so it has four speakers in every corner, which just makes it more immersive if you're watching a video or listening to music or whatever. Now another good thing is about iPad OS is that whatever you screenshot you can directly annotate on there. Um, you can also make it into a full page screenshot. Um, obviously this isn't a very good example, but if you if you screenshot like a document, you can scroll down or like a, a website page that's like a news article, you can scroll down and just whatever you want. You can highlight, write, delete, copy paste, and you can just send that to someone or you can just keep it. just like this so that is a very nice touch as well so you can rub it out you get a ruler the new layout for the apple uh, pencil and the, the the desktop toolbar just looks very nice as well and obviously you can just save it directly to your ipad itself or on your icloud drive where you can access it from um anywhere on any ios device now one of my main well now one of the other now one of the other disadvantages of this is I'm just quite not not too impressed even though it is a pro device you are paying like a thousand pounds plus for this and you still the highest video you can stream on YouTube is only 1080p even if it was like 2k or even 1k still that would be much better but you just the, the maximum you can get is 1080p uh, with 60fps so I think that does need improving here's just um some few examples on an app that's free in the app store called adobe sketch um you, which you can just sketch you can just draw whatever you want here are some drawings that i've made so you have iron man you have like a, a sunset you have like a sky i was just testing out the apple pencil to see how well it works and it's, it's pretty good it's, it's very very good actually it's much much fun to use um it does it actually does motivate you a lot to like get get work done like actually get stuff done which i do like and um, like every day i wake up when i had exams and like i was like i i need to revise i have no excuses I have an ipad i can get this done so here you can see this very fine detail on the spider-man face guy yeah. um oh that was the wrong pen but oh well. but yeah as you can see the apple pencil is amazing it's much much better than i'd say a normal pencil it's just very fun to use very very fine details over here and last but not least this is just um what i use alongside my ipad so i have my ipad pro I have my iphone my apple watch which i just got a few days ago um i have my macbook pro 20 late 2016 edition i think over the touch bar and then i just have a, a an lg infinity screen monitor here which is just uh, wired up to my macbook which just gives me an external display. I'm just waiting for the new MacBook software to, to be released where I can then I can use my iPad as a second display, um, which would be very cool. Then I can have um, up to three displays if I want. Um, so yeah, that's been the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will get answered. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, and I'll see you later.